Hello, welcome back. So in this class, we're going to talk about Teachable and how to create a course in Teachable. So as you can see here, this is the Teachable homepage. So all you need to do is simply go to get started and get started from there. But before we do that, you can actually go into pricing just to find out what are the, the pricing available, the pricing plan that we have available here. So if you scroll down, we have $39, $99 and $299 per month. If you scroll down here, I show you what are the plans? If I go all the way down and I can click on compare plans, if you do that, it's going to show you also the free plan that is available. You've got free, basic, professional, and high volume. And here you see the differences. So you see for each transactions that you do using a free account, Teachable is going to take 10% of your transactions. And uh, also, if you have a basic, he's going to get only 5%. And if you, of course, get a professional one, which is $99, it's not going to take any transaction charging. Have a look at this little tab that appears. For instance, if you choose a professional one, it says here, when utilizing custom gateways for, for PayPal and Stripe, if you do not utilize custom gateway, Teachable charges 2% for each transaction. Now, if you have, if you use PayPal, if you use Stripe, which is very easy to use, I'm going to show you also how to do that, how to set up an account with them. You're not going to pay uh, Teachable for anything. Uh, but instead, if you want to use Teachable instead, of those two, then you need to pay 2%. For the purpose of this course, I'm going to use a free account. I'm gonna show you everything under the free account. And as you can see, the processing fee, every time someone buys your course, Teachable will charge this 2.9% times 30 cents per transaction. You have a monthly payout, so it's gonna pay you every 30 days. And the cool things of Teachable, you don't have any limitation in terms of you, in terms of those number of courses and number of pages, you can create unlimited courses, unlimited student, etc. So amazing. In terms of support, you get email support, but you don't get live chat and other uh, services that are more for professional, etc. Well, we're not there yet. And in terms of features, we have integrated payment processing, which is amazing. The fact that you can actually make sure that the, the student pay directly on your website without leaving to another place like such as PayPal or others, and you have an SSL, so it's it's HTTPS. When you see that on the URL, it's a secure website, so people feel more kind of safe when they put their credit cards or debit card details when they buy your courses. If I scroll down here, of course, you don't have things like coupon codes, etc. But I'm gonna show you a way around. There are way around you can use coupons, etc. Drip course content is not included in the free account. So the drip content essentially is if you sell a course with, let's say, four, four or five modules, you can release each module every week. So if someone purchases your course in, let's say, the 1st of February, they can only access to module two on the 8th of February, so after one week. So everyone else who purchased your course will have drip content as well. There are benefits of using drip content so people don't get overwhelmed uh, by getting the whole lot together. They just follow uh, in a digestible order all of your modules and all of your information. You got other functions here, etc. Et you got you can import students from other places. Of course this is only available on the uh, on the la on latest plan that is the most expensive plan. And that probably means that companies that are more established who have lots of students, lots of email addresses and they want to import this into their database here they can do it only on that plan, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, you're gonna have one author, so one teacher in this case, or one owner on the free version. On the basic version, you have two author, and then and it goes increases over and over if you uh, upgrade to other plans. But in this case here, I'm gonna just upgrade, I'm uh, just gonna choose this plan, the free plan. And then it's gonna, of course, ask me to create an account. So. I'm going to skip this part, but all you need to do is simply put your full name, your email address, your password, and then agree to the terms and conditions and then press get started. And then once we're there, we're going to go into a different page where we're going to create our school. I'll see you in the next video.